My lord, please excuse the mess. I don't get many visitors in the lab. Still, I'm glad you stopped by. The Republic's efforts to clean and recolonize Terrace are accelerating, but I found a way to stop them. I just need someone to release the dangerous toxins inside a crumbling mephitic ruin. The Republic can't possibly make this place livable. You'd be surprised. They've already established water purification plants. However, the Terrace Chemworks will be their undoing. Before Terrace's destruction, the Chemworks produced all manner of deadly chemicals, which still remain. The Republic burned off most of the pollutants, but they missed the barrels of 357 trichloroheptane, a beautifully lethal poison. And you expect me to help? Exactly. If the factory were unguarded, I could take care of it myself. Unfortunately, the Republic knows the Chemworks is central to Terrace's reclamation. They stationed a squad of commandos there. If you can force your way in and break open the chemical containers, the resulting corrosive fog will poison the soil for a century. The weak minds of the Republic are no obstacle to me. If you succeed, you'll cripple the Republic's cleanup efforts. I wish you luck. The ruins of the Chemworks are located near the Republic's outposts. Move quickly. If the Republic figures out what chemicals we're looking for, they'll destroy them first. My sensors picked it up the moment you opened the containers. Well done! Please, General, just let me do my job. I'll get my team and we'll secure that site. Your job? You're a scout, Jennings. Had you done your job, we would have known about that enclave before the Jedi overran it. As much as I enjoy a good suicide mission, why don't we leave the rough stuff to a Sith? Isn't the whole point of a soldier to take care of the rough stuff? This situation requires fighters, not fodder. Our scouts spotted a group of Jedi Knights excavating the ruins of their old enclave. Given their numbers, we think they're after something big. Those ruins hold bygone artifacts, ancient texts, holocrons, planetary records. The very things we don't want the Jedi to find. Lord Gravis' orders are clear. Kill the Jedi and recover their findings. <laughs> Easier said than done. You'd better deliver. Lord Gravis isn't a man to disappoint. He was rather graphic about the consequences for failure. Unfortunately, my troops are busy fighting the Cathar. I scarcely have an angry thought to spare for the Jedi, let alone a battalion. The artifacts buried in those ruins could revitalize the Jedi's presence on Taris, or embolden them to build a new enclave. I need you to sack that enclave. I know Lord Gravis would be pleased to hear of your cooperation. Earning a Sith Lord's esteem has its perks. I'll do it. Excellent. I'm in your debt. Expect a tough fight. These Jedi are soldiers as much as researchers. They're brilliant, well-trained, and they protect those ruins to their dying breath. Just kill the lot of them and recover their findings. Lord Gravis doesn't want a single Jedi to survive. Must not work out there. We'd have been sunk if the Jedi had plundered that enclave. I can't brief Lord Gravis now. I need time. Delay him. My lord, how? He won't be pleased. Use that undersized brain of yours to think of something, or I'll have it out of its little shell. Dismissed. My apologies. Such esteemed company is a welcome change from the fools I deal with, and timely if you would help me with my problem. The trials of being a Sith, all the fools by comparison. Tell me your problem. 
We've learned the Republic has secured sections of the lower city hydro plant to serve their power needs. Lord Gravus ordered me to destroy their generators, but the squad I sent went missing before they even reached the objective. Useless. Meanwhile, the Republic reinforced its position. My men are simply outmatched. Tell me what this has to do with me. If the Republic strengthens its foothold on Taris, it's a problem for us all. Lord Gravus believes cutting off the Republic's power will cripple their operations enough to shift the balance of power on the planet. With your strength, you could disable those generators and strike a decisive blow against the enemy. And I would keep my lord happy. Agreed? We will leave them trembling in darkness. Excellent. Go to the hydro plant, identify the functional generators, and rig them to overload. Watch the Republic wage a war with no power. And one final request about the squad that went missing today. If you find any evidence explaining their disappearance, I would be pleased to see it. It's unfortunate you found no evidence of my squad's demise. But with Grovus appeased, perhaps I can coax more veteran troopers from him. Bureaucracy. Why is it just when stuff starts getting done, it always comes down to bureaucracy? In my experience, leadership structures like nothing better than to get in the way. They like giving orders, that's for sure. I've spent the last three months cleaning every bit of worthless Republic supporting pirate scum off this planet. I've got one group left, led by Mad Rago Tolin, and Major Ofaria calls the mission off. Says to pack up my blaster and come home. What exactly is the problem again? It isn't right to call off a mission. Not when we're this close to completing it. Major says it's too dangerous. Too many pirates. Not worth the risk. Risk my eye. Hey. Major says the mission's too dangerous for me, okay? Nothing says I can't ask someone to take out these pirates for me. I suppose I can give it a look. I'm thinking you go in there, kill as many of those pirates as you can, and report back to my commanding officer. Major Afaria doesn't need to know about my involvement, and what she doesn't know won't hurt her. <laughs> 